beach. It's surrounded by uh, looks like two or three empty lots uh, that may be marked for building at the moment that look out of the marsh. The house itself doesn't look out in the marsh, but it's very close. It's a great road too. I'll try to make a video for the road. This is the front of the house. And then the side that's bamboo separating the houses. And you can see that it goes underneath the main house for a two car garage and also underneath the guest house for a two car garage. So I'll take you back in the front door, take you to the main house. Looks to be in decent um, shape too from the exterior, uh, built in 1982, seven bedrooms, six full baths and one half bath. Coming into um, this area, you can see the uh, little catwalk there, that's towards the master, into the dining area and main foyer area here which is also open up to a big skylight and catwalk all around. So back to the front door. This is into, there's a half bath. Master. A little walk-in closet, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, master bath, which goes uh, two sinks and walk-in shower. It's a smaller door. But it actually has some depth in there to the shower. And then standalone tub and water closet area. Into the master. Uh, it's good size to it. Just the bedroom in here, closets in the hallway to it. Back out. Now, this is separated, so there's a living area here that has a, a door out onto the porch and patio. This is big dining area, also has a door out into the porch leading to the pool. This extends into the kitchen, which has good size, uh, updated appliances, not brand new, but definitely updated. Looks like they painted the cabinets to get them in better shape. Definitely added the granite since 1982. And that has a little opening into another living space. We have um, actually two ovens. This is, um, oh no, I'm sorry, microwave and bottom oven. And this also leads back into this foyer area. You just get there. Um, both ways here to get to the kitchen and dining area. Here's the other living space. Uh, ceilings. And this goes out onto a uh, patio. Not conditioned space. Leads to the guest area or out to the front. Say you're leading out to the beach or something. All this is, uh, this can be open in cooler times of the month too. The kitchen has a window out under this space as well. It's gonna be a long video. Strap yourselves in. And laundry room. Nice size laundry room for folding all those towels, pull down iron. Should never be used in a vacation scenario. Okay, up the stairs which are um, wood stairs, older wood stairs with a carpet tread. Berber carpet, dated. Uh, look like it can be clean though. And now we're in the second floor catwalk area. I'll take you this way to a good size owner's closet because it has a lock on it. 
First guest bedroom has a uh, fireplace that doesn't look like it's been used. Uh, nice little closet. This looks out over the area where the um, garage is. Guest bath. Updated vanity. Uh, the rest is not updated but looks very nice. Go this way on the catwalk and work our way around. Here's the second guest bedroom. Right over here is a big walk-in closet, actually. This is still the back of the house where the uh, um, garage side is. Big windows looking out over the pool. Some seated area and a big built-in. That's me. This is the guest bath that those two have access to, as well as one other. So it's a big, long uh, bathroom here. Updated vanity, uh, same shower, not as deep as the master, but does go back a little bit. And obviously, toilet. Third guest bedroom, same sort of built-ins and overlook out onto the back, a bigger closet. I'm gonna walk back to give you a good perspective on this room. There we go. So those three bedrooms would access that one bath. Then here's a, a fourth guest room, much bigger. Uh, that's that's not a built-in, so that would go. Oh, this is furnished, I believe, so it all stays. Um, nice king-size bed, that's what that is. And its own bathroom here. Uh, looks like an updated uh, vanity, but just Corian countertop. A nice slider on the door. And so far smooth ceiling, so we're good there. Yeah, smooth ceiling throughout. Here's another, here's a pantry. I'm sorry, a linen closet. Nice little seating area up here. It's very small, just enough for that circle table. And here's another big bedroom uh, with a smaller bathroom. Still updated vanity, but you can see that's that's kind of tight in there. Uh, slider in the shower. And into the other guest room, which is a good size, but that's a queen size bed for perspective. And just a normal horizontal closet. Here's an old uh, um, system here. I don't know if it's in use. And back out into the catwalk. So now we'll head down. The garage on this one is nothing to shout about. It's really just two small areas on either side of uh, cement. So we go down into the garage. And here we are. Plenty of storage down here in the side. There's little, little um, areas in here that you can have storage into, uh, but mainly just the two um, garage areas with the uh, cement footers between them. All this looks, in, in my opinion, in decent shape. I don't see any red flags, which is nice. Uh, another little storage area, and you can see the other side has some storage areas kind of built in over there too. Uh, and then I'm 6'3", and I'm um, uh, Joe, you couldn't walk underneath the garage door opener. You would hit your head in here. The other one's bigger, but this one's more for cars, not a, not a raised up truck. There we go. I'll walk over there. That's a dehumidifier, I think. It's a good idea. Or even an ionizer down here to um, stave off anything. Okay, back up. And we'll head out to the patio, pool area, which is nice and big actually. It's a Trex decking, so it's kind of all weather. Uh, wood sides and then a Trex top. Seen a little bit of wear in the sun, but it's in good shape. 
Uh, and you can sort of see how close we are to the houses, but the green screen is uh, pretty big. A little outdoor shower here by the pool deck. Not a big pool, but a nice sized deck. Plenty of people to accommodate. And this walks over to in front of the dining area, dining area, kitchen, and then that's a cap, the kind of a walkway that leads to that uh, porch off the back of the second living area. This goes to guest quarters. And there's another deck just for the guest area that's off of that. So walk up here first. You see a nice little view there. This creates a lot of privacy. That's the next door. Into the service area. Plenty of room for pools, pools, plenty of room for deck chairs or bikes or anything you'd want to put in there. There's access, we'll go in there in a minute. This is the guest area. So you go in here, actually it has a little dining area, uh, galley type kitchen, but this is pretty wide. Um, I'd say uh, five and a half feet wide at least uh, in here. Um, this is obviously built in, but they have a fridge, sink, dishwasher, microwave, and plenty of storage cabinets. Looks to be storage up there too. I am not climbing up there. And here is access to that other porch, which is nice. And a gigantic sort of living area in here with a full bath here. And this would be access to down, which we'll go to in a second. All right. And then this is the bedroom that's in this guest uh, house. So it's nice and big. That's a king size bed for um, perspective again. A uh, nice normal walk-in closet. Two doors, goes to the wall. Big area, let me back up. Nice light in here, I don't have any lights on right now. It's coming in mainly from the um, afternoon sun, or the, yeah, sorry, the afternoon sun. And a decent sized full bath here, a walk-in shower, that's just a curtain, and updated vanity, but that's just a Corian countertop. Uh, toilet looks actually newer as well. Um, fixtures are older, uh, except the light fixtures are newer here. This is a pocket door for space. And that's, um, I guess you can sort of see how close the neighbors are there, but uh, really the green skin's big. It's bamboo and palm trees. So now to complete the tour, and I'll walk you outside as well. Go down into the garage area here. which will be much taller, by the way. Oops. Light. So, plenty of storage in here. Nice two-car, that's a eight, looks like an 18-foot garage door. Um, nice, nice and clean in here. Extra storage area over this side. They obviously have all the pool decking stuff. And another storage closet here with a lock on it um, that goes with the stairs. And this is out the door. And I'll show you. That goes back out to the street. That's the entrance to underneath the first garage. So you can see there's access there if you're coming from the beach or something. Um, I'm going to look in here and make sure there's not a shower. Because there is a shower on the pool deck. Nice big storage, uh, service area here. We're very nice. And this goes out, and there's a little hammerhead there for parking, so at least two cars in there. could put a car down there, uh, two cars there. It's on a circle, um, so this, is, this definitely accommodates the space. I imagine I could park five cars in here with... This would be a little difficult, obviously, to pull in and out with uh, that one. This has much more room to pull in and out. But I'd like what they've done here, you could even add... I imagine a little green screen to the edge of the property here to shield this even more from the other property, but there's nothing really back here that would bring you back here. 
so. And that's up to the pool deck. Yeah. And there you go. And that's the service for the HAC on the guest 